Hey everybody, today we are going to be answering another question, a uh, subscriber nomination. They, we had briefly touched on an SA-80 as a alternative weapon for your Aliens Colonial Marine costume, and it just in general as a collectible. They wanted to know a little more info about that. So we're going to touch on the SA-80 L85A1 rifle. What I have here is a Spring Airsoft SA-80 L85A1. I have actually gone ahead and done a bit of a half-ass job, if I'm being honest, in painting this brown Bess. Uh, there's no evidence that they actually were painted brown Bess, but my personal belief is that, you know, the color scheme of the weapons, since it's such a prominent color, should all match. So for the one for my collection here, I have gone and sprayed the uh, plastic parts into brown Bess. Thing that's going to stick out is the very distinctive bullpup design where the magazine is actually behind the main grip and you can see in the armory that there is an entire rack of those SA-80s. Further from the production photos, you can see a cast. You know it's a cast because it's the magazine is a little wonky on this one. But there is a cast of an SA-80. Uh, this, uh, you'll have to do a little digging to find it because most of the current SA-80s are going to be the A-2s, which are not very, very different, but they do have some differences in the top part of the optics mostly. The A1 from the 80s obviously uh, is going to hopefully uh, in theory like the movie shows like the production photos have a SUSAT sight. S-U-S-A-T. Stands for Sight Unit Small Arms Trilux. Whereas any of the A2s are probably going to have an ACOG sight or possibly even a removable carry handle. Overall, that doesn't matter a heck of a whole lot because you never actually saw the top of the gun on screen. So the sight isn't exactly screen accurate, regardless of which one you go with. Although we know from the production photos that that is what it had. And of course from the 1985 filming period uh, of what simply was not available back then. But because of that... Um, this is a perfectly acceptable weapon for fans and costumers in the Aliens community. So carrying one of these bad boys out costuming at an Aliens costuming event uh, is not only encouraged, but it might even get you a little street cred, because then you've identified yourself as somebody who does their research and does the deep dives. Uh, a funny story that I obviously was not there for, but uh, Trevor Stedman, the actor, the stuntman who played Wersbowski, was at a convention in England when a costuming member of the Aliens Legacy Forum was there with one of these. And another uh, customer or patron at the convention, seeing uh, not a pulse rifle, but an airsoft, SA-80, gave the guy a bit of a hard time. Said, oh, that's not very screen accurate, is it? And Trevor Stedman had overheard this and said, actually, there's a whole rack of them in the armory if you bother to watch the film. And uh, like I said, so there's a little bit of history there where the true fans know what it's all about and it will be appreciated. So if this is something you're interested in costuming with, by all means, go ahead with your SA-80s and have a good time. So, you know, that's definitely one of our shorter videos, but uh, if you haven't... Another question that you'd like me to make a video about, I'll do the best I can. Go ahead and post your comments and questions in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.